today we are getting very close to Valentine's, so I'm gonna try to make in the day that there is any other challenge, or even if there is a challenge, the inspiration the twist. I'm gonna try to make it into Valentine's ideas, okay? Uh, so, um, so you saw what we're gonna make these cute dinos, the supposed to be T Rex, and they're trying to hack and blah blah blah. So you can go with the idea. But I'm gonna have to tell you, I haven't used any glue because actually, I for the picture I just put it together. So um, this is one, you see, and the other one. So it's they are separated. So what I did is just uh, put it like this for the picture. So the thing is, you don't have to make both, you know, if you don't have time, but they did, if you have time and you make one to each other and then for pictures, you can make the people, you know, to put it together or do whatever you want. You can also uh, use a glue dot there and boom, stays there forever. <laughs> so, but I want to teach you, you know, one, and if you can make one and this time we're going to make the girl, the boy is the same just without that bow and this if you pay attention they look different because this is the first time i was trying so i was testing different ideas techniques so i'm gonna show you what um you know it's coming now after practicing with these designs that i already showed you okay so we're gonna start with a one uh five inch balloon uh green so remember all the things that i'm telling you you can change them and you can make it your own design even much better because you can try also with bigger balloons instead of a five inch you can try with a 11 inch round uh green or any color actually imagine pink or purple so this is just you know something that i hope you can um just catch you know the best ideas and making your own you know creation and something even more original because this what i saw it was this picture and you know i thought oh, i'm gonna make it out of balloons so that's what it happened but uh you can you know use those ideas too you go to google and just type cute designs valentine's cute designs kawaii or whatever you know sounds like oh it's gonna be a good idea then you check it out pick your favorite save the picture and then try to make it out of balloons so that's a recommendation and a tip that I always, you know, um, you know, I already said in other videos, so you can uh, use it or not, but it works really good for me. So then other things that it's really good for you is to have these little racing beans, you know, pre-made it. And if you have the beads that are made of plastic, it's okay. I just made it with just regular uh, extra pieces of balloons, balloon scraps. I tie them and I save them in this little box. So it had a lid. I found these boxes. It came like four in one package. And uh, what is Office Depot? Something like that. Okay, so I'm gonna add one of those here. Okay, one in the uh, five inch round balloon. And then you're gonna blow it in like a regular tank. Like, like, let me show you. Like this, and then you lose some air, okay? To make it soft. So then when you see it into a bubble, into like, kind of like a circle, I mean, a circle one, you tie it, tie it very close to the nasal, okay? That's the idea for this design. So when you have that, then we're going with the lime green. Um, so with this balloon, what you're gonna make is arms. So what I'm gonna do is four bubble, you know, four finger bubble, and then another four finger bubble. And that's what is gonna be the arms. So these are cute uh, dinosaurs, supposed to be T-Rex. So they have very short arms. So um, when you have that, you, you split it in half. And now, make sure the racing bean is in the bigger side, this round part, okay? When you squeeze the balloon, make sure it's um, it's there, in this side. And then you attach this. So I'm using right now a neon green, and it's only because, I don't know, I ordered this balloon by accident out. I don't know, but it's supposed to be lime green, okay? <laughs> the same color as the arms. That's, you know, the idea. That I just have these balloons and I have to use it because I don't have any other lime green five inch rounds. Okay, so when you have that, then you're gonna grab um, your, uh, what is, dark green or any color, but you know, like, this is the color I'm using for all what is the, the um, this part. I'm gonna show you. And the thing is, um, when you do this, okay, you see this kind of like the middle, the center of the balloon. I like to go um, kind of holding that area, okay? So that's gonna be the idea where to grab the pinch twist, the, I mean the, the racing bead. So you grab it and twist it. Then you going to attach that, the other 160 uh, 
color balloon you have in my case it's going to be dark green so when you have that you make a pinch twist see and twist it okay so try to make sure that is really good connected because you don't want this to get undone okay when you have that then you go with a three finger bubble another three finger bubble and, and you're gonna make this four times another okay just like this so you have three finger bubbles four of those and you connect it all the way through here now you are gonna make here a pinch twist a three finger bubble pinch twist okay and probably it will be better if you make two of those so i'm gonna make two okay so when you have that you're gonna go back if you and this is not necessary but if you want you go back okay and make it shorter so go back all the way to the pinch tree the first one and then you go back and then you will go to the neck okay all the way so trying to make a very um you know shorter that part okay so now you're gonna have something like this let me see let me show you i mean so you have something like this this part you know at the end we're gonna do something here to make this this way okay okay so now here um what you're gonna do is um let's go with um i mean now an extra fight in uh an extra white just a scrap you just have to attach it to the neck okay and we're not gonna need much of this probably just a three finger bubble very soft so and then trying to take it all the way through the other side to the nozzle of the five inch round green okay and then you just don't need any more of the white so you tie it and there you go you have this then what else now with that lime green um balloon you're going to make first let's see you can this you decide but i'm gonna make here a small pin, uh, loop like five finger loop and another five finger loop and then from here i'm gonna um i'm gonna go up like two fingers and then i'm gonna make two pinch twists okay and then from here look when you have that okay that's this is one leg so from here you're gonna kind of measure like let's see three finger bubble okay and then uh you're gonna go back but first let's let's do this let's attach the this part of the balloon right here okay so then we kind of have the fishing getting ready so that's what i'm doing okay so then from here you have to go with this balloon with two bubbles but it's, the bubbles are gonna be like two finger bubble or almost three actually okay two bubbles like this and then from here you're gonna make two pinch twists one and two now when you have that then you can go with a three finger bubble or let me see what is this actually it's a four finger bubble you know and well no three finger bubble i think is gonna be okay two finger bubble i'm sorry but it's better this getting as close as possible you know and then uh this balloon the green lime green can go back now so this one is gonna go back to this place and um now you're going back for the leg so it's a two finger bubble and both the same size as the other one and like this this all fits together just like that if you want because now um you can make a small pinch twist here so then everything looks more you know more what is a stable um like that now you pop the balloon and this piece save it okay save that piece if you're gonna use it you will see in a moment so you make sure this all gets together tied it so you have this 
you can start putting things in forward position. And with this part, you want to make the tail. How? Okay, I'm going to show you. You can go with a three finger bubble of four. And the other one that you want to make, is have to be longer. Just like a little bit longer. And in case you have an extra balloon um, right here with the green, and only if you want, you can go back all the way to here. Let's see how it looks. Only because I have an, a little piece that, and it's always good to make, you know, things are not exactly the same, at least not for me. Every time I make a design, it changes and changes and changes. And, and that's why probably I'm not getting bored of balloon twisting because I can change in my designs all the time and I love that. It makes this fun. Okay, so this is how it came out. Look, so there's all different ways, but look, it's, you know, I, now with this part, this is a cool part. You remember this scrap that was, you know, there? You put it, like, find the middle and put it around a couple times. You don't have to tie it. That's... It doesn't matter much if you tie it or not. But then, don't make, make sure this doesn't get untied. So then, look, one side is gonna go to this pinch twist. Okay, stretch it and put it around that pinch twist. And the other side is gonna go all the way to the, the, the here, the neck. And look, now it's having more like a shape that we wanted, the zigzag, right? Okay, so um, that's uh, the idea. Look how cute is this design. It's adorable. Adorable with the no arms, so you can cut these little pieces. Then, sharp return. So the idea is you at least make sure one side looks perfect. Oh, and I'm forgetting something very important, and this is this is a male without the bow. But if you want the, you know, the bow and the girl, so what you need to do is just a uh, very small loop here, like half, one and a half finger loop, and another one, and then a, a small pink twist. Okay? So from here, in order to connect it, you're gonna connect it to this bubble, the pink twist. So you're gonna make a little circle here, a little bubble, and you're gonna go ahead and connect it to there. Okay? So then from here, you can also make another little ball, little uh, bubble, and just yeah, cut the excess. Just so it's more stable, so you see? And I make sure the sole is together, just like that. If you want and you have time, you can make this ball all the way through the other side. But my intention is to show only one side. So that's the ball, so you see? Now we're gonna make here the head, you see? Now we're gonna make the head, so the, the face, I mean. So how to do that? That's the tricky part. I'm gonna go this way, okay? So remember, this is kind of like the idea, you know, it's to make first the eyebrow, you know, go like this, like a letter U, that's gonna be the eyebrow. And then here is gonna be a circle. And then you just go with, eyelashes okay so when you have that then you can come see where is gonna be the mouth so the mouth is gonna be all this from here and now you play with the other side you see now you go if you want to make this all together now I'm going to the other side and maybe that is gonna be the tricky part but you can just keep going with the same idea and go here and make the other you and then here a circle and trying to make it all the way to the other side. So the thing is when it's in parallel, you know, people don't have to see the other side much. So then when you have time, you finish it, okay? So this is, and if you want here, you can make here like little, little dots. So we're gonna imagine that it's that nose. Now with a dark green, I just color what is inside this. This is what I do, okay? And you know, there's no that I'm really good at doing this, but this is what I kind of did when I saw the, the cartoon. You see, so there you go. So you have something like that. Um, that's it, okay? Now, what else? You can add whatever it's better for you, whatever the ideas, but this is the idea. So if you make the girl, you're gonna be able for sure to make the boy. And then you can play with this idea. 
Oh, because the arms are short, so that's what I thought is cute for Valentine's. They try to hug each other, but they can't. <laughs> okay, people, I hope you enjoyed this design. Have fun, happy twisting. Bye-bye.